This is Chris Kett with your core training circuit A. All right, now core training is going to help to improve your posture. It's going to help to strengthen uh, the areas of your body that are commonly weak, tight, or you know, experience pain, and it's going to define you as well. Okay, and it's going to set us up for more uh, strenuous exercise in the months to come. Okay, and with that said, we've broken core down into anterior core, which is the stomach, posterior, which is the butt, and then the upper back. Okay, and with that. We're going to start out with the stomach. Our first exercise is the prone plank here. Okay, so with this, I'm just holding in this position, keeping my hips level, tightening my abs, not dipping or driving. I'm extending the, the urge to move. Okay, this is what is called core stability. Okay, I'm holding the, in this position for the prescribed number of sets and reps. Immediately, I'm going into a side plank. Once again, Everything stays straight. I'm looking at myself in the mirror here. I want to keep this nice curve going on. No dipping or driving above where I should be. Okay, and I'm finishing up with a dead bug. Okay, with that, I'm pressing my lower back down on the floor, bringing my feet up. Okay, and I'm just lowering slowly with control. With this exercise, what I want you to think about is keeping your back pressed into the floor. All right, you want to keep that contraction in your abs going on or it's going to hit your back. Okay, if you feel yourself start to arch in the lower back, okay, you, I want you to stop and reinitiate that tilt, meaning you're really pushing down into the floor until you really feel that in your abs, okay, for the prescribed number of sets and reps. So if it's eight reps, it would be like one, one, two, two, etc. Okay, our next uh, area of the body is the posterior core, which is the butt. Okay, and our first exercise is a glute bridge. With a glute bridge, I'm pressing down into the floor here. Once again, I'm tightening my abs. Notice my feet, I'm pressing through my heels. My toes are actually off the ground. Coming up as high as I can, comfortably holding for one or two seconds and coming back down. All right, from the glute bridge, I'm going into a set of sideline leg raises, sticking my chest out. This can also be performed up with the back up against the wall. Okay, so your body doesn't rotate as you're doing this, but once again, you just want to keep your toes flexed back like this, come up and down at a slow and controlled pace. Okay, our last exercise is what is called a psoas lift. Okay, and all I'm doing with that is employing my knee to my chest. I'm providing a little bit of pressure with my hand, and I'm coming back. Okay, I want you to perform eight on one side, or however many reps I prescribed, and then eight on the other. Okay, our last area of the body is the scapular core, which is the upper back. Okay, and with that, what we're doing is we're performing what are called Y's, T's, and W's. Okay, with the Y, I'm just setting my hands up in a Y position here, picking a spot about 15 degrees in front of me, moving from the shoulder blades. You're not going to get much range of motion here, but that's okay. Okay, just raising it up in a Y position, thumbs are up, and I'm coming into a T here. Shoulder blades are down and back, raising it up into this position. Okay, and I'm ending with what are called prone W's. Okay, so my leg, my arms are bent like this, thumbs are up. For the prescribed number of sets and reps. And that's your that's your workout A.